in the modern world. And you don't have to look like that, but you're doing your practice. So the meditation we did is a shamanic meditation. Your affiliation and the love with the nature is shamanic work. Because what it does is you're positioning yourself. This work, what we're doing, this gathering that we have here, there's a purpose in it. We're just not doing this and coming together of doing what we're doing right now just because, oh, I, you know, I get a little peace for a couple of hours and I feel really good. Okay, maybe that's what you want. And that makes you happy, and which is cool. I'm okay with that. But I know that you're looking for something much deeper. Not just that you're peaceful for a couple hours. I know what you're looking for. I know what you're after. You want to connect to the cosmic consciousness. That's what you want. Cosmic consciousness. You're expanding into your greater self. Yourself. Your greater self. You're looking at your abilities. So what we do here, or what I do in a workshop that I have, or what we do at the retreat, retreat we have here in Sedona in two months from now, on. or the one in Ore, or whatever workshop that we come together, or here, whatever platform we're using, this is one platform, okay, is to position you to create a situation that you're positioned in a situation that you have the opportunity to connect to, to cosmic consciousness. Because if you're not positioned in the right place, it's impossible to have that exposure. You can't have that exposure if you're not positioned in the right place. It's like, let's put it this way. Let's say you're 24 year old, Beautiful, gorgeous, tall model. You're just the most beautiful thing in the world. And you want to become a very famous model. But you're living in an island in the middle of the Pacific. And the population of the island is 50 people. Well, you're never going to become a world-class model because you're not positioned in the right place. You need to go to LA or you need to go to London or New York City where you're positioned to be discovered. You can be discovered in the middle of Pacific in an island with a population of 50 people. You're not in the right place. You, you, does this make sense? Let's say you're really a, a internet wizard and you want to be about you, you, high technology work. You want to do, be involved with computer stuff in a very high, intel, intelligent, advanced technological stuff. Well, you want to be in Silicon Valley. You want to be where the industry is. You don't want to be in the middle of an island without the internet. That's not where you're going to find your work. You're not connected. So the same thing with what we do. You need to position yourself in the right place to give yourself the best chance possible to connect to the cosmic consciousness. So in that connecting with cosmic consciousness, you have created the right environment. Like for example, right now, you had to create your environment to connect with, with me right now. Means that you're in your room somewhere, you close, you know, your kids are in the other room, you came and you locked up yourself somewhere away from your kids, away from your wife or husband or partner, 
and you put the dogs in the other room, you made a nice quiet environment, your internet had to work, your computer or phone had to work, so you position everything to connect to this. Well, if you were in a very noisy place with a lot of noise, or people walking in and out in your room and distracting you, well, you can't connect to this. So, you, you understand? It's a very, very simple thing. You have to position yourself in the right perfect environment in order to be, give yourself a chance to connect. Otherwise, you can't because you're not positioning yourself in the right place. So yeah, while you really want that, and while you say, oh my God, you know, what is my purpose? I really like to be a shaman. I really want to have access to, I want to get information from the invisible world. Well, then you need to position yourself in the right place that you can, with the right teacher and right training, so you can receive the information. You, you see that? You understand what I'm saying? And that is the main purpose of this platform that I've created. Again, the byproducts of it is yes, we get together. You know, I feel really peaceful. It's beautiful. It centers me. Yes, that's fantastic. That's a byproduct of the work. But in deeper essence, is that we're all looking for the same thing. We're all looking for a way to connect to the infinite, to the cosmic intelligence. So we are in this place of complete connection all the time. And we do receive information and we do become a vessel of transferring light and love. Because I guarantee you, 99% of the spirit, spiritual seekers, people that come on my way, yes, they're looking for love. Yes, they're looking for inner peace, which we work on that. But 99% of you guys have a strong desire to help other people. You like to be on the path of ser serving God. Your purpose is that you want to be a vessel of light. This is what you really want. Am I right? Raise your hand if, if this is what you really want. Yeah. So to be a vessel, vessel of light, that's what a shaman is. That's what the mystic, a Sufi is. The shaman is one who has become empty inside and they become a vessel of light because they've connected. You have to be able to connect to the cosmic intelligence in order to be a vessel of light. If you're not connected, if you're in your head trying to do things with your mind intellectually, you don't, you're not connected to the cosmic consciousness. And you all have experience and had glimpses of, of connecting to cosmic consciousness and downloading information. You all have, it happened. You had glimpses of it. Maybe it's not your reality all the time, but you have had glimpses of it. And that led me to do the retreat in Sedona, this essence of shamanism that I created that's coming in March in Sedona is designed for that. 